Hi guys, welcome back to Aviation 747. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Gemini Jets Virgin Atlantic 7879. So um, yeah, let's get straight into this. I've had a quick look already in the inside and it looks stunning. So we have the Gemini Jets logo there. Then we have made for collectors by collectors. We've got like the box art here and all of this with the look inside tab which has all this kind of information that you can read there and all of that which is very nice and then the bottom of the box we just have all the general jets claims um, on the sides we've got like a little clip art of the plane, Boeing 7879, Gemini Jets logo and 400 scale diecast aircraft. Then we have the warnings and then we have the same again on that side. Uh, then on the back we have it in a kind of climbing position with the Gemini Jets logo there. And then we have uh, Gemini Jets brings you the highest quality precision diecast metal airliners in highly collected limited editions with officially licensed markings registration marked packaging is personalized to each aircraft to enhance its collectible value so that's very nice and then we have all of this just there then we have the kind of trademarks and their social media websites um yeah very nice box um I actually really like the Gemini Jets box, it looks really nice, but it's a bit of a shame that they don't do anything special for any of their boxes except for Air France and Lufthansa, but taking it out, we have the cradle, and just popping the top off. And we have a really big piece of protection that's very nice to see. Uh, how am I going to get this? Here we go. And then we have the model there. We'll just pop that on there for a second. And the other bit of plastic packaging. Okay, and here we have the model out of the box. And looking at it so far, it looks very nice. The gear rolls really nicely. Very, very smooth, very impressive. Um, yeah, the kind of overall model, you can see it's got this kind of silvery metallic finish. And the red is really deep really really good colours probably the best coloured aircraft I've got so far in terms of accuracy um, yeah so we're gonna start at the front and we'll just go over the smaller details so starting off with the 787 nose we have the nose cone and the cockpit windows there. We have the kind of dream Jenny thing, which is what this aircraft is called, along with the L1 door just there. We have Virgin Atlantic titles here, and I believe this is where business class is. Boeing 7879. The first antenna, the Wi-Fi box L2, the rest of the titles and the nice Rolls-Royce Trent engines. We have the curved 787 wing. And then we have like kind of the premium economy and economy section. I think premium economy goes to somewhere around here. And then the rest of it is economy. Uh, we have the L3 and L4 door. The other two um, antennas. We have the registration, which is Golf uh, Victor Zulu Indigo Golf, and I think so. I'm just 
Okay, there is a tiny mark just there, if I can get it to focus. Okay, there we go, we can see a tiny mark just underneath the G, just like there. I'll just see if that can come off. Um, yeah, okay, so we have a very, very, very small kind of dot there. I didn't even notice that. So it's only when it's on camera that it shows up, so it's really not that big a deal. Uh, yeah, so we have economy here, uh, the final door, L4. Stabilizers, exhaust, and the Virgin Atlantic tail, which looks really good. Again, those red kind of colour along with the red wingtips just there, all just give it a really, really nice look. Um, so yeah, this model I'm very impressed with. I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's probably my new favourite model. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice model. I'll just give you a 360 view now. And the top of the aircraft looks like that, and the bottom, we have the Virgin Atlantic um, titles with the small Gemini Jets logo there, and the rolling landing gear which rolls really nicely. Um, so yeah, just popping it back on here, it's really nice, really like this aircraft, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.